Now, I'm going to cheat the system here, and this isn't included in the 500 words, but I just want to open up this video by saying thank you. My channel has been growing pretty quickly, and a few days ago I got directly asked by a developer if I wanted to review this game. I know it's a small indie game, but I never thought it would get to the point where a developer would contact me directly to review their game. I wouldn't have got here without all of your support, so thank you very much. With all that sappy shit out of the way, now on to Sheepo, in 500 words or less. So it's been released today, the 26th of August 2020, for 8 dollars but there will be a 15% launch day discount, so. This game is a 2D pacifist metroidvania. It's quite strange actually. Usually metroidvanias have plenty of weapons to find or ways to improve your character's combat ability. But in this game, you don't have an attack button. And your only upgrades are through the powers you gain from the eggs you find. At the start, it's a basic 2D platformer, but it feels great. Sheepo is really snappy and feels fantastic to control. There are these little spheres that you can attach to and launch in the direction. From there, your upgrades are taking control of other animals. There are five powers in total. You have a bird to reach new heights and an underground worm to bury deep below. There are others that can be used in different ways, but I'll leave them for you to discover. Once you get your new powers, backtracking is made quick and easy, with fast travel and shortcuts. And because of that, I found myself exploring the world to find health upgrades and collectibles. The boss fights are all dodging things long enough for the boss to die, but they're mostly all different and it added enough variety to the game. Now, this elusive word game feel is something that is really hard to quantify, but I have to say, the feeling this game creates is fantastic. While some platforming sections are difficult enough, there's a rhythmic feeling to it. There's plenty of momentum to the gameplay and the pacing. You get new powers pretty quickly after each other so it constantly feels fresh. Now something that lends itself to this feeling is the presentation. While the game is based around platforming that I would compare to the newer Rayman games, it's really tranquil. Exploring this wonderfully crafted planet with interesting powers and great music is exactly what I was looking for. The art style is absolutely beautiful and I was genuinely surprised by how good it looked when I watched the trailer. Even the little things like text font and the little exclamation marks when you're near danger fit perfectly so I have to praise the game for this. It only took about 3 hours to beat, and I would say it would be around 4 hours to 100%, but that's exactly how long this game should be. It doesn't demand too much of your time or money, but it knows exactly what it is. If you're a fan of this genre and are looking for a nice short adventure or a palate cleanser between big games that you can beat in a day or two, then this game is absolutely perfect for it. I would highly recommend this game. That's 491 words, let me know if you're interested in picking this game up. Thanks for watching, I appreciate every single one of you. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all on the next video.